Right. Get ready to tie the today's fly that I will fish uh, for any fish, uh, redfish, snook, trout, pompano, permit, what happened to be permit today. So let's get started. It's a um, hot pink. Got a little bit left. Uh, see if I got enough to make a tail. Um, should have. EP bait fish. Capture the tail. Try the bottom wing. So number two, tin plated. Gamagatsu, real light hook, but number two, let's go ahead and tie in the flashaboo, pearl flashaboo, where does this light up, 10 o'clock on the flats, this stuff is on fire, catching the light, Three, four strands, I'll have a little more. Okay. So now you're going to come in with the second top wing or tail. out of your hot pink. Using the other half of this little thin strand of bait fish belly. Wrap it in. Pull it back. That's your tail. 
Alright. Have supplies starting to build out. Now what you want is three strands of your pink. Happen to have one, two, three. To thin those down, and I'll need three strands of the white. So that turns into three. One, two, three, barely three. Okay. Right. Your pink. Goes in and you're stacking fiber, you're winding it back on itself. That's what's called stacking fiber. So now you're gonna come in with the white. What you do is Figure eight it in and mold it around the hook. Come back on it. And I built a real hollow body fly that breathes a lot. Red fish go nuts. A nice piece of red. And this is the hot pink. It's a little heavier than the lighter pink. I think one more little tail bottom. A couple loose wraps, then you can move it around. I would fish this after it's trimmed with weight or no weight. Uh, there's the fly. And for permit, I was using weight. So, I don't want too much weight. It was pretty shallow where I was fishing. I would probably go with um, this little uh, medium bead chain. So let's go ahead and finish the fly off. This is the part uh, I really like, and uh, I've seen a certain pair of scissors. All right. So I pull out the collar. That's really nice, Alex. Huh? 
Nice music. So, trim her down, trim her down. This is really what keeps the fly pretty weedless. Okay, so you got the head trimmed. Now all I do is pull the tail up and the tail down. Let's do the belly first. The belly's quite long. Not to do too much fear of taking too much off. So about what it should look like. So then I'll add the eyes. I'm sorry, I gotta come back and add the eyes and then glue it. So I'll be back. Oh, let's just glue it once right now. Okay. 